up airbnb nation this is danny the airbnb pro coming at you from chiang mai thailand i am wrapping up my two months in thailand ending with chiang mai just a few more days left and something popped into my head right now it's sunday afternoon and i figured i would record a video for it right now and the video is going to be about how to activate the questions tab within smart bnb most of you right now are already thinking i don't know what you're talking about and that's good because it's a very useful applic uh, a very useful module of Smart BNB, and I'm going to explain it to you in less than five minutes probably. So if you don't follow me, you then you might not know that I'm a big proponent of Smart BNB. If you're using Airbnb or Airbnb predominantly, Smart BNB is, is your best option. It's easy to set up. Uh, I have had uh, no problems with it. The customer service is great. It's cheap, etc. So let's jump into it. Here in the messaging tab. This is this makes up 90% of what I do when I log into Smart BNB. They have other neat features. Uh, most of them are automated, like Heartbeats, Checkpoint, Stealth, all automated. They added in metrics. They added that in recently. Uh, it's uh, different numbers of your Airbnb listing, how much money you're bringing in, how many nights you're booked, etc. But messaging is really where where you do the adjustments. So. Questions is, what it really is, is an answer to a routine question that you get. In the, for example, with discounts, people guess asking for discounts or guess asking about parking. Um, you're going to get these questions even if it's in your Airbnb listing. And this, continue, this automates that process so you don't have to actually respond to the guest. So let's go to events tab. And where, where, I, edit, where I add it in is here, new booking inquiry. So if you were to click edit, you would come into your new booking inquiry right here. And this is what I say. And this is what we're gonna be talking about. You simply add this percent sign, answers percent sign, into your message you send to your guest upon inquiry. And it's gonna, Smart BNB is going to insert into here whatever question you tell it to based on the question that the guest sent you. So let's jump in now that I just said that out loud. It's not as complicated as it sounds. So let's just jump into an example. Abby. Abby asked here in this message, she said, is there any kind of a discount you can offer me for an extended stay for a month? So you see my message in Airbnb, we'll compare it. So we'll compare it. Hi, Abby. Thanks for your interest in my home in Mill Valley. So here. Hi, guest for a team. Thanks a lot for your interest in my home in Mill Valley. And then it says, it would be a pleasure to host you on these dates. We go back. It would be a pleasure to host you on these dates. And then answers. This is what I have told Smart BNB to add into this automated message if the guest asks me about a discount. So they add, due to, so I add, due to high demand, I only offer discounts within a week of check-in date. If you'd like to wait until then and my listing stays available, I'm happy to accommodate a discount. Okay, so one, one side note here. When people, when guests ask for discounts, they're not only, they don't care about your house, they're more price sensitive. So they're sending this message to many hosts and they're gonna go with the host whoever gives them the best discount. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, said another way, if a guest really wants to stay at your house, they're not going to worry about an extra 5-10% discount. But if they're asking a discount in their first message, it just tells you discount price is very important to them. So they're looking at your price only. So they're going to book whoever gives them the best price, not location, not amenities, etc. So this is great for me because I used to not even answer these guests because I know that 90% or more aren't going to book with me because I don't need to give them a discount. I have the best listings in the area. They will get booked. Uh, so anyways, uh, that's, that is a tangent. So this is automatically, this is the automatic part. So let's go back to Smart BNB. How do we do this? Go into your messaging tab, then go into this questions, and then you're going to hit add reply. And there's a few that that you can you can get. Uh, Smart BNB only gives you these options: Wi-Fi, restaurants, pets, parking, late checkout, late check-in, kitchen, infants, early check-in, discount. Actually, that remind that I can I, I'm going to create after this late check-in. So what you would do is you would select discount request and create new rule, 
and I've already done that discount request and here it is. So this is what the screen will look like. So this is what I created. Due to high demand, I only offer discounts within a week of check-in. If you'd like to wait until my listing is, uh, stays available, I'm happy to accommodate a discount. So we just added that in to this message under answers, okay? Very simple. Um, you don't. I don't really have to tell you, okay, so here the question is relevant to before a reservation is accepted. It's not relevant to after the reservation is accepted. So I only click only relevant to before a reservation is accepted. Uh, and it's relevant to all of my listings. Okay, another one we have, we'll, go, we'll do it in reverse now. So again, we're here in questions. I say add new rule. I'm gonna click uh, parking. I'm gonna press create rule, which I've already done. And I'll get this screen here and I add in. Parking is available on the street for free or in private lots for $20, about $20 a day. Never leave valuable in your vehicle. This is good before reservation, before check-in date, while the guest is staying. At any point, the guest can ask about parking and I will give them this answer. And this is good for only two of my listings. So this guest here, this is a good example because upon his first inquiry, he says, is there free parking? And I did not have this set up yet. So because I didn't have this set up, that this will look familiar to you. Thanks for your interest in my trip in my city. Pleasure to host you from these dates. Okay. Uh, and then I say no. And then he says, how much will parking be? And then I, I say $20 a day. And then at this point, I added the smart BNB question AI message. And then he asked again, is it a parking lot or street parking? So now this was this was not sent by me manually. This was sent automatically. Parking is available on street for free or in private lots for about $25, $20 a day. Never leave valuables in your vehicle. So that answers it. Is it is it a parking lot or street park street parking or parking lot? Okay. So if I had had this in originally, this would have went where where I'll wait. If you said right here in between these two in between the second and third paragraph of my message, you would have been correct. This is where it would have went. And that's it. That is it. Uh, I love Smart BNB. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, it seems it's a bit more complicated than, than it actually is because it has it has events and multiple messages, reservations, even more messages going on here. And then it has all this stuff down here, which looks super tech savvy, etc. You can ignore it. Uh, then you have team and you have reviews so there's a lot of functionality going on here but uh, to to get to get you know the 80 20 rule um, to get 80 percent usefulness you only need to know about 20 percent of it or less and so that's one of the questions uh, that's one of the answers for you guys um, the reason i'm doing this is because of my new product elevate where if you're using airbnb mostly i'm signing you up for smart bnb i am adding all of your messages etc communicating with your team adding your cleaners I'm doing this for you and then we have a call at the end and I skip questions. I just say here's the basics, learn it, and then later on dig in and figure out what all these other tabs are here on the left. So I'm going to make these videos so that when you are ready, uh, if you buy Elevate or not or just sign up for Smart BNB, uh, by the way, if you sign up for Smart BNB, uh, and I'll, I'll add a link to the bottom of this um, with, uh, I think there's a discount, but I'll, I'll double check. Um, I'm going to, so there's the basics and then this is more advanced. And there's a few other components that I'll get into, uh, maybe how to communicate with your cleaning team. Um, these videos will be short and available on my YouTube channel, which is where I'm about to post this now. And I will also add a link to the Elevate service as well, which is on sale, but the, the sale page isn't quite ready yet. I want it just right. Okay, see you all soon. Happy hosting.